Today I'm at York Golf Club to go through a full tailor-made golf ball fitting. We're going to be looking at three of their biggest models, the TP5, the TP5X and the Taurus Bonds. And I really want to see what the differences are between these three models, which is right for my game and also which is right for our mid-handicap tester Alex Terry. We're going to show you what happens in the ball fitting, the differences between these models, so hopefully you can get some insight in which one might be right for you. Right, let's get on with it. Okay, so Dan, when someone rocked up for a ball fitting, what would be kind of the first thing you would be looking to start with? The key start point is what golf ball are they using? Now, we've spoke about already off camera what golf ball you're, you're using, but we haven't had the discussion of maybe what you're looking for if you were trying to squeeze a little bit more out of your game. Mm -hmm. You know, you've had that driver in for a couple of months now. You know, we've spoke a little bit over that time and you've said, you know, it's been it's still been going well. But in terms of you and your game, what do you think you'd like to see by gaining that few extra points out of your game in terms of golf ball. Do you see it being a bit too high, too spinny, too low? Yeah, probably the biggest thing is like height for me because I do hit it very high. Yeah. And like a lot of stuff I play is amateur stuff that's yeah. on like links. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so although a high ball fire is nice, it's not necessarily the best if you're like straight into the wind around. Yeah. And it's finding that right, right balance. And mm -hmm. that's something that a lot of amateur golfers when they come to me for a fitting is you know, Dan, I, I want to get my ball flight down, you know, it goes too high. When, in fact, they'll actually lose distance if they drop the flight yeah. because the dynamics of their swing is suited for a, a higher launch with, with lower spin, which I know that's what we've seen with yours because your attack angle was very much more on the up and that was, was giving us much more of a higher flight. We want to maintain that to a certain extent, but make sure the spin rate doesn't go too high. A good thing with the technology in our golf balls because in our premium models, the TP5, TP5X being a 5 way golf yeah. ball, we can try and counter that, get that all in terms of good speed, the spin not negatively affected too much in the wind, you know, when we we don't have to change clubs as much with, with, with that golf ball because it's so high well performing in wind as well. So, you know, as we go through hitting the, the, the shots and driving and irons and we'll look at some wedges as well. And, I think for you, for me, the feedback from you is quite important as well, how it feels, how you like the shot to see, and, and obviously I'll go to the numbers mm -hmm. as well. That's a good one, isn't it? Yeah. You noticeably see that, you know, it's, it's going further. Now, all right, your launch angle has been very consistent. It's been like 14 and a half, 14 and a half, 14 from three, 14 from four. The second one where you said is the one that you, you didn't quite like, but it yeah. looks like it's going a bit too high. That actually launched one degree higher. However, it's the spin rate, which is then the reason why it looks as though it's, 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 going it's higher. higher. Yeah, it's just spinning a little bit more. And, you know, on a, the relatively calm day today i can see from your feedback when you're getting on a links course and you've got to get control of your ball flight that's the one that's that's harming you so to be honest it wasn't too much of a miss hit you know i'd say you're going to be right edge maybe in the first cut there but if we can drop the spin a fraction there and keep it consistently in that kind of two and a half of the higher ones and then the ones a little bit lower at like two three fifty your good ones are going to be good, but your bad ones are going to be better than what they are. What I've seen in like most of my stuff is like when it's flat calm or like downwind, I, can, I just like knock it past everyone. And then as soon as it's into the wind, like I completely lose that advantage. So what would be the main tech differences when we're moving into this golf ball then? So still a five layer golf ball. Um, and that's been prevalent in our in our premium golf balls for a, for a number of years now. And we've seen huge success on, on, on the back of that in the TP5 series. Where we'll start to see the difference in performance is I will expect to see a slightly higher ball flight mm -hmm. and slightly lower spin. That's the main difference between the two golf balls. Slightly firmer compression between the two, so you might feel, you know, marginal, slightly firmer off the face with, with, with the driver, but nothing to be concerned about mm -hmm. at, at all. You know, it's you know it's still a. Um, you know, premium golf ball that feels great, whether it's a driver or irons or, or, or on the putting green. See that one there? That sounded quicker. That one there, I would say, was the same type of shot that we yeah. had before. 
before it wasn't perfect you know it's right edge fairway maybe first cut and it looked as though on the last ball that we hit it's probably going to spin up so but that held its line whereas the others were like cutting yeah. a little bit yeah. very good that's that's the money shot that's the one i would expect to be slightly high launch and yeah slightly lower spin there so your launch angle just shy of 16, 15.7. Spin rate was two and a half thousand. The ball speed 145, starting to see a bit of a quicker ball speed there as well. So it's starting to do what it says on the tin. Launch a little bit higher, spin a little bit lower. And as long as we've got that higher launch, which the X is giving you, that's where, that's where we're in good shape. That in the wind, is you don't have to worry about that in the wind, that's, that's going. We've seen Hannah and what a good player does <laughs> with the golf ball. What about people like me, mid-handicapper, who is nowhere near as consistent as Hannah, just looking to get the ball in the fairway, maybe get a few extra yards out of it? So that's, you know, that's your shape, isn't it? You're always yeah. going to hit it a little left to right. You know, and trying to calm that down to a, a more manageable level is where that's going to help you out on, on the course. I'd say they're still probably not your best shots there, you know, but we have to take into into account some of them because yeah, that's what we're trying to do. Well, I think that's more representative of my level, isn't it? Like, we're not going to hit it like, like I said before, like Hannah, the way Hannah hits it consistently, yeah, consistently every single time. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and in terms of your ball speed, they've been... 146, 144, 146, 146 ball speed. The spin rate is the thing that we need to manage. If we were to take a TP5X versus what you just hit there, I would think we'll see the spin rate drop. Good. Again, good strike, not as quick on the ball speed, but the spin rate was lower. So in terms of a miss hit, or a grouping, obviously right now that's better because you're playing from the fairway a little bit more yeah. because the higher spin is, is hurting you, you know, and, and that's what it is, you know, the tour response is it's going to spin a little bit more, but you're going to see some, some more ball speed. Good. That's the one there, isn't it, where that's it's... That's my good shot. Yeah, yeah, you've got control of it, you know, and, and for the next amateur golfer that i would see with your shape tour response might be the right golf ball for them because the slightly slightly slower club head swing a golfer of the golf ball you know your 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 club head is there is quite consistent around 100 so you've got a load of speed there where i might see somebody use it 75 80. yes they have a little bit more of a left to right but it's maybe not as destructive as yours because you've got so much more speed in terms of moving moving the driver so getting that spin rate down is is really crucial but still maintaining ball speed so we're now starting to see you know a jump in the ball speed on the tp5x but crucially getting that spin rate lower and the average has now started to spread out your carry is up just shy of seven yards on the carry and the total is just un just under five because again of that spin rate being more manageable and getting you playing from the fairway more often so certainly for you alex to um to take away would be tp5x so when we move into an iron what would you be looking at in terms of kind of spinners like that i mean the, the story is very much the same in terms of what we've, we've seen uh, with the driver you know we're trying to hit a, a window we're trying to hit a number you know we don't want the spin rate to jump too high and too low for you we have to you know you've got a Forge P770, but they are built for you know some good ball speed there as mm -hmm. well. They're certainly going to spin less than then if I gave you one of our P7MB blades. But I would expect to see a little bit more height out of these, better descent angle and, and, and whatnot. So the process is the same for you, Hannah. You know we'll see what your starting point is with the the seven arm and the TP5X, and then I'll look to see if we need to potentially change anything. And it, it might be that I give you some feedback that we need to knock the irons a bit stronger or take mm -hmm. them a little bit weaker as well and that's something that we can also take away from the day all right what did you say work on carry distance for a seven iron about 150 148 <laughs> 
now is the number. Again, you know, it's it's doing exactly what they're meant to be doing. So the the launch angle is one degree less, mm -hmm. but the spin rate is is like four hundred revs more, which you know that's what I would expect to see. And it's nice to be able to for you to see the difference of why we're pushing you to yeah. one golf ball over over the next because the next golf ball, I'll see, we're looking for that. We're looking for that lower flight and a little bit more because even though that's launching like lower it looks higher because of the spin at the exactly, end exactly which is what you're seeing in in the drive you know in, in the driver it's launching it looks to you as though it's launching higher because the spin and the mm -hmm. drag is, is is creating that so we know that you know the performance is still good in that but we know that the tp5x is certainly more suited for you and your game So I'm going to get you to hit some of these as well, just so I can show you the numbers to, to show you the reason why I'm going to give you the TP5. So it's interesting, even straight away, the, the spin rate's jumping up to six and a half thousand, which is which is quite a good number for a seven iron. However, you're more offline because it wasn't your best shot you know it's kind of spinning up a little bit more and, and moving off to the right where with the X we had a little bit more control of it and that's backing up what we're seeing with the driver as well as I say the tour response is, a, is an unbelievable golf ball and you know we need to get more amateur golfers using it because as I say there's, there's so many amateur golfers that I see that as, as the perfect golf ball but for you with your shape and your speed the TP5X is clearly coming out as the winner, looking at the grouping, looking at the numbers, your good shots being good, but your bad shots being that little bit tighter as well. So we've gone through like driver irons and a bit of wedging now, but around the greens, I really wanted to try the picks because I love the way it looks. Yeah. Can you I... chat a bit around like the visuals and why it's kind of how it is? The picks has been has been really popular for amateur golfers and um, and it's made its way on 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 the PJ Tour and some golfers golf bags as well. So you know it's been really popular because of that visual tech. And I think if you said to most golfers, Hannah, you know, five years ago we're going to do a premium golf ball with a pattern on it, people go, "Oh, I'm not going to use it." The feedback that it can give you from when you're pitching around the green, you can see that instant feedback. You know, you can see the picks. You know, the the, the, the spinning and, and 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 seeing the movement that it's going to give you with, with the spin. Is, is only going to be a benefit. Um, when we've done that, we'll, I'll, we'll do some putter as well, and I'll show you how we would line it up, and you can get instant feedback on the roll of the putt as well. And I think that's one thing that is um, is hitting all levels of golfer is knowing when they're going to hit good putt and when they hit a not good putt because you're not seeing the pitch roll on as well. Definitely not going to hit someone else's golf ball. Either. No, absolutely <laughs> not. Not unless there's uh, there's two of in the same group. I've got a nice little easier. Short-sided yeah. uh, here. <laughs> so when we're looking at differences in spin around the green between the X and the five, what would be the big difference? Very minimal, to be honest. When we get to when we get to the real short, uh, to the to the short iron, they're both going to spin um, very very similar. Um, to make sure we get that maximum control. Certainly more with, with the driver, we're going to start to see a bit more of a difference as we've seen today. Um, but you know, high spin, loads of control, great feel um, as soon as we get, get down to the green. Right. I feel like the way you can see like the pattern spinning. Yeah, it's, it's instant feedback. I mean, again, for, for amateur golfers, you know, and the, the golfers that are going to be watching your your videos is how important it is for keeping the wedges fresh. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's something that gets overlooked, the same as golf ball. You know, somebody's bought some, some wedges three, four years ago and 
you know, invested in them and, you know, and I've, and I've enjoyed using them and think, you know, they're still good. And that's where when you use a launch monitor and you see the difference from a wedge that's been played for a number of years to a, a brand new wedge, we've obviously got the raw technology in our, in our wedges and you can start to see the difference instantly on a, on a track man or a quad of what the spin rate is going to do from an older wedge to a new wedge. I think especially with like your love wedge, because I do use like my 58 a lot more than I do use my other wedge, yeah. so like I have to switch that out a lot more. Yeah, you know, you think to. about the amount of time you use that and how important it is, you know, to gain uh, as much control and as much, as much spin, because you know, if you've missed the green, you, know, you want to get it as close as you can to try and make pass. Yeah. Right, so we go hit some first? Yeah, perfect. Alright, Hannah, so we, we've seen obviously the instant feedback you get with your pitching and, and your short game with, with the lob wedge there and, and visually seeing the, the picks ball and the, the technology that's in it. But I think what would be nice for you to see, obviously you've got your, your Spider EX there with the with the True Path alignment technology mm -hmm. on there to match up to, to the ball. And obviously with the with the picks, the clear path alignment to be able to see what this does. Now, you'll see a lot of golfers that will put the like a Sharpie line through the, yeah. through the TP5, TP5X line or you can just use the, 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 the logo itself to line it up. That's what I like about it, like the fact that I can add my line onto it. Exactly. Because the yeah. pictures aren't in the way, so you can still get your line exactly, on there. Exactly, yeah. So if you look on, on the golf ball, a lot of people wouldn't realise this. So our T-Bug tailor-made logo is actually only on one side of the golf yeah. ball. So it doesn't kind of become overcrowded to make sure you get the technology for the clear path alignments on there. So obviously I'd line that up to, to your putt and you'll be able to see the roll um, that you get because of the technology on, on the golf ball. So it's instant feedback all the time. See the ball rolling end at end. It's nice how the like orange and black kind of create the extra lines like each yeah. side of your line I as well. I hadn't, when it was uh, co-designed with Ricky Fowler, they, they went back and forth. I think there was about six different designs uh, till they eventually got to, to this design to be able to get something like you said, mm -hmm. you know, the orange and black which which stands out so you can see uh, you can see it rolling. It's quite neat how like the orange that frames it like lines up with the kind of lines on here. So everything matches up for your alignment. Yeah, you've hit the nail on the head there to be able to frame it and see it and then can, you know, commit to the putt. That's, that's the aim of the game. Well, that was definitely super interesting. I'm not sure me and Alex both expected to be fit into the same golf ball, but it was interesting to see how two different golfers kind of benefited from that decrease in spin. It just gave us a little bit more control and helped get that more penetrating flight. That was definitely good for me as I launched the ball a lot higher, but also for Alex, it kind of helped control that left to right shot shape. Now, if I'd gone into the shop to buy one of these, I would have picked up the TP5 over the X. So I was definitely quite surprised that that was the model that I got fit into. And I think that really shows you why you need to go through this fitting process. It's definitely not something people always go through and do straight away, but you can see from the results here, it's definitely worth trying it out because you're going to get more distance and more control, which is ultimately going to lead to lower scoring. Right. That's all for today. If you have any questions about any of these golf balls or any of the other balls in the tailor-made lineup, feel free to drop them in the comments below or send me a line on Twitter or Instagram. As always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications too. And if you're after more golf content, head to the National Club Golfer social media channels for more.